Bachelorette fans say Gen Trans season annihilated franchise. October 25, 2024. Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Bachelor Nation News. Former Bachelorette Jen Tran is currently enjoying herself in season 33 of DVTS. She's moved on from her failed dating show season, but for Bachelor franchise fans, it's still a major topic of discussion. Right now, the question fans are mulling over is whether or not her season single-handedly marked the end of an era. Read on to find out what happened. Did Jen Tran's season ruin the franchise? Jen's Bachelorette season marked the 21st time viewers have seen a leading woman go through the on-screen dating competition to find her forever partner. That being said, because of the chaos that was trans season and because of enduring the same old concept since 2003, some viewers are starting to be over the dating competition series. In a Reddit thread, Bachelorette fans agreed that after the previous disaster, they aren't looking forward to another season. Here are a few of the comments. I don't know if I'm taking a break or I'm just done with the franchise now. I have not cared to continue with the franchise. I will jump for joy when it's canceled. What went wrong in Jen's season? When it comes to trans season of The Bachelorette, it went from great to uncomfortable to shocking in the span of just a few weeks. The uncomfortable aspect had to do with the contestants themselves. The men she had to choose from were quickly dubbed as unusual casting choices. What really took the cake, though, was who the bachelorette ended up choosing. She proposed to Devin Strader, and while he accepted her offer, viewers didn't get to see the romantic moment take place. That's because not long afterward, he called out the engagement via phone call, leaving Tran completely devastated. It got even worse in the final rose ceremony, when it was revealed that Strader reached out to Maria Jorgas, a former Bachelor contestant, after dumping Jen. Needless to say, the final was arguably the most jaw-dropping in franchise history and was a major turnoff for several fans. These spin-offs to the rescue. Season 21 of The Bachelorette might have ruined the Bachelor franchise for some but most have agreed that there are still some shows worth watching, and those exceptions are the golden shows. Following Jerry Turner's inaugural Golden Bachelor season, viewers raved about seeing older contestants find love. Joan Vassos is the leading lady for season one of Golden Bachelorette, and the sentiment is still the same. Viewers have already predicted that she won't find love. However, fans have been enjoying watching her date, and they approve of her season's contestants. There have even been some moments where the men's vulnerability has made fans emotional. Are you still a fan of The Bachelorette? Do you prefer the golden shows over the originals? Let us know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Your go-to channel for all things Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Golden Bachelor. Today, we're diving into a very hot topic that's got Bachelor Nation buzzing. Gen Tran season of The Bachelorette. Some fans think it marked the end of an era, and others are even saying it might have annihilated the franchise. What went wrong, and is this really the end of The Bachelorette as we know it? Let's break it all down. Segment 1. Did Gen Tran's season mark the end of The Bachelorette? Host, voiceover. Let's start with some background. Gen Tran season of The Bachelorette, season 21 was filled with drama, unexpected twists, and a conclusion that left fans scratching their heads. Now, Jen might be loving her time on Dancing with the Stars, but for fans of the franchise, her season of The Bachelorette is still a major topic of debate. Cut to text overlay. Did Jen Tran's season ruin the franchise? Host, on camera. Fans are wondering if Jen's season marked a significant shift maybe even a breaking point for the franchise. After all, this was the 21st season of The Bachelorette. Some fans feel like the format is tired, the plot twists feel forced, and they're just plain done with the series. Segment 2, Fan Reactions and Reddit Commentary Host, VoiceOver One of the best places to get the pulse of Bachelor Nation is, of course, Reddit. In a recent thread, Fans were candid about how they feel after Jen's season. 
Cut to screen of Reddit comments. I don't know if I'm taking a break or I'm just done with the franchise now. I have not cared to continue with the franchise. I will jump for joy when it's canceled. So as you can see, fans aren't just disappointed. They are seriously considering walking away from the franchise altogether. These comments are part of a growing sentiment that the traditional Bachelor and Bachelorette shows might have run their course. Let's talk specifics. Gen Trans season had its highs, but it quickly turned uncomfortable and downright shocking. One major issue was the cast. Fans felt the men didn't seem like a great match for Jen, with some describing them as odd casting choices. And then, the final brought drama like we've never seen before. Jen chose Devin Strader, and they got engaged, but it didn't end with the usual romance fans expected. Right after the proposal, Devin called it off over the phone, leaving Jen devastated. And to make matters worse, Devin then reconnected with Maria Jorgas, a former Bachelor contestant. That bombshell sent fans into an uproar, and many believe that this chaotic final was one of the most uncomfortable and disappointing moments in the Bachelorette history. For many viewers, this twist felt like the final straw. Eggman 4 is this really the end? I don't think I can watch another season after this. The Bachelor franchise needs a complete overhaul if they want us to keep watching. Now, it's important to remember that while many fans are disappointed, there are still viewers who are hopeful about the future of the franchise. But what really saved the Bachelor name this past year were its spin-offs, specifically the Golden Shows. Segment 5 the spin-offs that saved the franchise. The Golden Bachelor and Golden Bachelorette spin-offs have been refreshing for viewers. After Jen's controversial season, the Golden series offered something new and honestly very needed. Cut to clips of Jerry Turner and Joan Vassos, as allowed. These shows focus on mature contestants, and they're giving fans genuine romance and deep, emotional stories that don't feel forced. Joan Vassos, for example, has been winning fans over with her sincerity, and her suitors are showing a level of vulnerability we rarely see in reality TV. Cut to fan comments about Golden Shows. I'm way more invested in Joan than any recent Bachelorette. This is the kind of content we want to see, real connections, real emotions. Segment 6. The Future of the Franchise so where does the franchise go from here? Will the Bachelorette we know and love, or love to hate, be cancelled? Or will these golden spin-offs take the spotlight entirely? Graphic overlay. Is this the new era of Bachelor Nation? While nothing's confirmed, the success of the Golden Bachelor series might just lead to a shift in how the franchise approaches romance on screen. Fans want stories that resonate with them not shock value or manufactured drama. So, what do you all think? Has The Bachelorette seen its final season? Or is there still hope for a comeback? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching Bachelor Nation News. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on your favorite reality TV shows. And remember to let me know, are you Team Jin, Team Joan, or Team Golden Bachelor? Can't wait to read your thoughts. See you in the next video.